Welcome to the Ultimate Life Series SMP Quiz, everybody. This is the Solidarity Shorts channel, and if you are here right now, you make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. Is the music okay, chat? You let me know. But we're doing this today. The Ultimate Life Series SMP Quiz. Do you know the intricacies of the Life Series? Have you watched every POV and store all the little details deep underneath the mountain of brain what rot. There's a lot of brain rot up here. Are you itching for the next season, waiting for bated breath, and need a re little refresher on the trivia that you've forgotten? Waiting on the next season, huh? Don't know when that's coming. Uh, test your knowledge with how much you've actually obsessed with this seasonal Minecraft event. In a, It is a hundred question trivia quiz. All right, okay. Okay. There'll be 25 questions per season with questions which will cover a wide range of POVs. Oh gosh, okay. The following questions are all about character, not the players, unless otherwise clarified. Please do not look up any of the answers. Okay, right. My name. Solidarity. Next. Here it is. Session one, third life SM. Right, guys, by the way, if I don't get like 50%, I think I need to be kicked out. If I don't get 50%, I need to be kicked out, I think. Genuinely. I think I do. Right. Take your bets, everybody. Put a number in the chat what you think I'm going to get out of 100. Do it. Is the music okay? I think I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get 70. No, no, 68. That's what I think. 68. Right, okay, here we go. Question one, which player used a creeper hiss soundboard to prank the other players? I know this, off by heart, it's Martin. He got all of them. It was amazing. It was great. Fan dabby dozy. Which player lost all their lives, and this is third life, by the way. Which lives lost? Which player lost all their lives in a singular session? I'm not looking at chat. Please do not spoil it for me. All right. Tango did not. Big B. It's definitely not Scott. 100% not Scott. Can't be. Maybe it was. No. Maybe it was Scott. No. Wait. No. Because Scott. Who won? No. Oh yeah. It might be Scott. It might be Scott. I'm going to go for Scott. Which, what disc did Cleo, B-dubs, and Impulse find while caving in C's session one? It's going to be cat or fair, far. It's always cat. It's always cat. It's always cat. What item did Joel try to have a monopoly on? I think it was cactus. I think it was cactus. It's not dead bushes. Can't be. I think it was... It's either cactus or acacia saplings. I think it's cactus. Who were the three members of the Blue Sword Boys? Who were the Blue Sword Boys? It's not Scott. It's not Big Bit. It's going to be Impulse, e Etho. And Ren? Yeah. What was the initial resource Green and Scar were trying to monopolize? Dark Oak Saplings. I remember it. I remember it clearly. It was that. What was the name of Scar's pet B? It was Mr. Bubbles. I know it. It was Mr. Bubbles. I remember him clearly. Which player left a sign on Pizza's, Pizza's hut with the message, Pizza Lives? Who was P Pizza? Pizza was the, the llama, right? Pizza Lives. It wasn't me. Imagine it was me. It wasn't me. I'm going to say Cleo. I'm going to say Cleo. <coughs> right. During session five, which player burned down Joel's roof? Oh my gosh. It was. I know this. I know this. I love it. Oh, it was Joel, wasn't it? It 
was himself. I swear it was. I remember it because there was so much debate over it. Or was it? It was him. He self-sabotaged. I swear it was. I think I'm going to go for Joel. I'm going to go for Joel. I'm trying not to look at chat, everybody, because I don't want you to spoil it for me. Uh, which three players were killed by Green's TNT mine uh, cart trap? Oh, the one I self-exploded. It was me, it was Ren. And Skiz. Me, Ren, Skiz. I think. I think. Big B was already up on the mountain. Martin wasn't near. And Scott wasn't near. It's me, Ren, and Skiz. 100%. That was the best trap ever. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was good. And I accidentally did it. What did Scar offer to Green as a piece of offering when Scar turned red? A friendship pass, I think. Uh, by the way, chat, is the music um is the music okay or not? <coughs> Let me know. What was the reason B Dubs gave for Tango being sent to the firing range? <laughs> He wore a helmet. I remember it. He wore a helmet. The Crassel. I, I remember the Crassel. Right. It was he wore a helmet and he wasn't supposed to. I know that one. What was the name of the cow that Scott and Jimmy kept in the Flower Valley? I don't know. I was there and I don't know. Daff Daisy? I didn't name this cow. I genuinely, I don't know. Uh, what was the name of the axe used to sacrifice Ren's second life? It was Red Winter is coming. Um, what was the initial name of Ren's enchanting business? It was um, Ren Chanting. I know it. I think. This one, I'm going to get it wrong. Which player had acquired the bad omens effect at the end of season one and through shenanigans initiated a raid? I think it was Etho. It was Etho or Tango. And my heart is telling me, my brain and my heart, it was Etho. Which player informs Scar that pizza is actually alive but doesn't reveal who has them? I don't know this one. I don't know this one. I'm going to say Cleo. Cleo likes ki kidnapping things, so yes. During the third session, what two items does Impulse get from Scar in exchange for four diamonds? Oh my, I don't even know. What two items? A friendship pass and a free sand pass. <coughs> what player gives Scott and Jimmy a, a bucket of puffer fish during the talks of an alliance? Scar. I think. I think. I think. The pufferish. It wasn't a puffer fish. It was a pu pufferish. Um, which player gives Impulse a banner of the Red Army, declaring him uh, as their official supplier of resources? Skiz. It would have been Skiz. Or Joel? It's Skiz or Joel. It's Skiz. It's Skiz. Hundred percent. Why does Scott set the Wall Castle on fire? Crassel. To trap Ether inside to kill him, to get revenge for Jimmy's death, to lure the Red Army away from Dogwarts, to find a chess he hid beneath it. No, it wouldn't be that one. To lure the Red Army away. I reckon it's to lure them away. Yeah, I reckon it's to lure them away. Which two players were absent from Season 7 due to in real, in real life reasons? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe it was Big B? I'm going to say Big B and Cleo. Might be completely wrong. Uh, what item was given out to Tango's lava-based challenge game, Dare to Flare? I did this, and I died. Pretty sure. And I know it was... It, I swear it was the... Oh, wasn't it a gold apple? It was a god apple, wasn't it? Or an enchantment table. I swear it was a god apple. 
Or maybe it was... Oh, I don't know! I'm failing at this. It's going to be awful. It's going to be really bad. A diamond chest plate, maybe? I think it's a diamond chest plate. Diamond chest plate. Um... Or a god apple. I can't remember. Or an enchantment tape. I don't... I'm going to go for the one I don't think it is. I'm going to go for boots. Uh, what distraction tactic did Scar use while Grian made the bubble trap elevator in the Crassel base? He asked B-dubs for a tour around outside the base. He asked B-dubs for help in the nether. He tried to sell B-dubs a coffin. He did, 100%. <coughs> I think he did that. Uh, which player activates their no-kill pass in order to avoid death by Scar and Grian's hands? Etho? I think it's Etho. Right, next! Here we go! Session two! We're on the last life, SMP, everybody. Are we ready, chat? Are we ready to keep going? We've done third life, we're into last life. Chat, are we ready? Are we ready here? <coughs> Who was the first person to be killed by the boogeyman? It was B-dubs. I think. I think. Um, which player finds a pig step de music desk and music desk? Amazing. M music disc and contemplates using it as an intimidation tactic by inflicting DMZ strikes with it. Um... That sounds like a Martin thing to do. Um, which player makes the first ender chest on the server? Who would do that? Tango. Um, what was the name of Pearl and Scott's base? <coughs> oh my gosh. It's not the Scott house, the Scottage... It's one of these. The Green Lives Clubhouse. I think. Uh, during session eight, uh, what technical mishap was discovered? The give life command suddenly wasn't working. The server had accidentally been left on easy. That was it. Um, which is funny. Uh, during six, se session six, which player threw poison splash potion that set off a string of kills? I remember this. Wasn't it beat? I feel like out of all of these people right here, Etho is the most like chaotic in, in the sense of like getting kills and stuff. So I feel like it's Etho. I feel like it's Etho. We'll, we'll wait and see. What was the first redstone contraption that Mumbo made for the Southlands? It wasn't a gas farm. It wasn't a lava trapped entranceway. I think it was a sugarcane farm. I think. It's either a smoke signal system or a sugarcane farm. It was a smoke signal farm. It was a, it was a smoke signal system. I think. <coughs> Which member of the best team decides to create a server map within their hidden base? No idea. I reckon it's B-dubs. Uh, what name does Big B's secret persona take in order to hide his identity? Terry! We love Terry. Um, how does Impulse escape Scott's first boogeyman attempt on him? He slips behind a secret passageway where Scott can't follow him. He trades all his equipment away in exchange for his life. He eats a golden apple, which gives him enough health. He kills Scott in self-defense. I reckon he kills Scott in self-defense. I think? I'm gonna... I think that one, maybe. Um, which is these not a crystal that Scar was attempting to sell? Uh, the Houdini escape crystal, I think. These these ones. The deck. I remember getting the dexterity of a cat crystal. I remember getting that. Which player had the least amount of kills by the end of the series? I, it's it's going to be me. Or Lizzie, I reckon. I'm going to say me, just for the reason that I was out first. 
Um, what are the name uh, of Lizzie's three wolf companions? One was Dragon. Ta taxes. Uh, one was. I know one was Dragon. Oh my gosh, one's got to be called Taxes because that's funny. Um, Siren, Siren, Dragon, Taxes. Why did Impulse die when Mumbo knocked him off the ghast farm uh, ledge? He tried to do a water bucket trick in the nether. He couldn't pull off the boat trick. He was hit by Bigman when we got to floor. He tried to land on a hay bale and missed. Hmm. I reckon, I reckon Impulse is too smart for a water bucket. Him forgetting that. I reckon it's the boat one. Which player goes red due to not fulfilling their boogeyman quote? It's Scott, right? I think. <coughs> it's Scott or Bigby? I think it's Scott. I think it's Scott. I remember it being Scott. I think. Maybe? I don't know. I think it's Scott. How many lives were paid out by Tango and you bet your life to Lizzie? Oh, it was high. It was like five. It was it was really, really high. I'm going to say five. What was the second player to lose all their lives? It wasn't me. It, I was first. It was Mumbo. Mumbo was... Mumbo was straight after me. Green killed me, then Mumbo. All right, at least I know I got that one right. Which player laid the trap chest that took out Bigby for a successful boogeyman? Killed despite them being inactive at the time. Pearl? I'm going to say Pearl. What was the name of Pearl's axolotl, which Scott placed on the ground just before his final death? Tilly. Axolotl? I thought it was a wolf. Or am I thinking of something else? I don't know. I don't know. Um, who was the first player to die a non-boogeyman related death? How did I die? How did I die? Bro, I'm just gonna say it's me. I'm just gonna say me. Uh, why did Tango build the the rock to po rock to puss? He wanted to be unique and was sick of everyone building castles. He wanted a place where best could meet up if they end up not using it. He was planning to set up a trap with within it when he was boogeyman. He he had a ton of cobblestone from mining and wanted to use something. Um, Ty, it wanted to be Nick, Nick wanted, uh, everyone was building castles. Which of the following players was the last one to be on their yellow life? I reckon it was... Martin. I, guys, I think my score is going to be humiliating. What did Lizzie get from Team Bess in exchange for the enchantment table? Oh, it was like random stuff, right? Or, or, or was it a sworn alliance? No, it wasn't an alliance. I swear it wasn't. It was like five, 35 iron and one diamond. I swear. I'm going to say that. Um, how many kills did Joel have by the end of the series? Did he pop off? I'm going to say 10. Which was the first player to die in the final battle royale? Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm going to say Ren. Right, chat. Session three. Double life. Um, we've got... A, we've got... Oh, uh, guys. You want to see a picture of Norman? Currently. 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 Um... He's being a grumpy man. Grumpy, grumpy man.
Right. Session three. Let's do this. We're halfway through. Double life SMP, everybody. What was the first duo to lose a life? It was me and Tango, right? Yeah, it was me and Tango right off the bat. It was. It was there. All right, here we go. Which one of these trust building exercises would not interest Scott's relationship? The human snow cone was. The trustful was. The goat one was. It was the berry bush bites. Uh, who was the first person Scar thought uh, he was his uh, soulmate? Wasn't me. It was... No, Green was his soulmate. It was Joel, probably? Yeah, I think it was Joel. What did Scar name his ally in session one? It would have been Mickey, wouldn't it? I think. Maybe. Uh, what retextured mob did Scar use for his jelly petting zoo? Panda. Yeah? Yeah. Um, during the fishing rod chain at the pre-pool party, which of the players the chain ended up dead from it? Who died? Wasn't it Pearl? No, someone died. I swear it was Pearl. No, was it Joel? I think it was Joel. I think it was Joel. I, I swear it was Pearl as well. I think it it's Joel or Pearl. I think it was Pearl. Right, which player trapped Martin's base with the TNT in the final session? Oh, I have no idea. But I'm guessing... Etho? I'm guessing Etho. What type of horn does Jimmy receive from Pearl after she helps him ranchers get one of the goats? It was... Seek. It's going to be Sing now, isn't it? I think it was Seek, I think. What was the secret gift give, uh, Graham gave to Bigby sing, signed it as his last secret admirer? It was a heart made of cookies. It was, yeah. A heart made of cookies. Um, I think. At Tango, end of Tango's final episode, what movie does he make a reference to? Oh my gosh, I didn't even know. <coughs> I'm just going to guess The Breakfast Club. I'm going to guess. Why did Scar leap off the platform above he and Grian's base perform a walk water bucket clutch? Because they were burning the... Yeah, Joel and Ethel were burning them. Uh, burning the pandas in the reserve. Who does the divorce quartet, Scott, Cleo, Pearl, and Martin, decide to hold hos hostage in session five? It was me. It was definitely me. Was it me? Was that when they were keeping me underground? I swear it was me. Yeah, it was me. Uh, what was the official name of Grian's base? The Red Velvet Fortress, I think it was. Or was it the Red Velvet Keep? Or the Spiked... No, it was the Red Velvet... I'm going to say the Red Velvet Fortress. Uh, which player is the first to discover the ancient city in the caves beneath the map? I reckon it's Ren. Uh, what was the name of Pearl's loyal wolf companion? Till... Oh... Wrong series for the Axolotl, wasn't it? Now I know it. Now I know it. People are getting bored? Hey, we're nearly through it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Who was the last player to discover their soulmate's identity? It was Scar, right? I think it was Scar. Uh, which player burned down the relationship? It wasn't me. Scott? Maybe? Or Scar? Uh, I think Scar. He's chaotic enough. Which pair was the first to find their uh, soulmate? Um... Etho and Joel, I think? I'm going to say Etho and Joel. Um, wh who was the only player to lose all three lives because their soulmate's death? Oh, gosh. No, Tango killed me first, so it's not me and Tango. Big B, no, Big B was, uh, Big B was killing Ren. It's Impulse or Martin. Impulse. Uh, who brought the warden to the surface during session three, Tango? Uh, how did Ren and Big B lose all their, uh, lose their first lives? It was, um, Fool Not a Ladder. 
Which two players killed the name the warden named Rancher's Revenge? Um, I can't remember who killed them. Who killed it? I'm gonna say. Oh wait, was this? Wait, <coughs> I actually can't remember. It's Green and someone, I think. I'm gonna say Green and Etho. Which player dubbed Pearl a demoness? Uh, Scott. I can imagine him saying it in his Scottish thingy. She's a demoness. Uh, who were the three members of the Broken Hearts Club? Oh my gosh, here we go. Cry me a river. Um, Cleo. No, not Cleo. Uh, Scott. Scott, Pearl, Cleo. I'm just going to guess. Why did Ren and Bill Bigby build their base with a face on the front? They wanted their base to be ugly, no bother. They actually didn't intend to build the face. Joel pranked them by putting a face on it. They hoped the face would draw people in so they could make allies. I think that one. Right. Last one, everybody. Last one. Limited life SMP. Here we go. At the end of this, we're going to see how we've done. Here we go. This must be. This is going to be fresh on the top of my uh, my my brain here, right? Here we go. By the end of session one, how many hours did Skiz have left? It was low. So you start on 24. He had... 18. I think? That's still... S oh, wait. We go... Wait, wait, wait. We do three hours. That means he would have died... No, it's 17. It's 17 because he got killed by the boogeyman as well. It's 17. Uh, which of these rules is incorrect? A player is green if they have 16 plus hours... If a player dies, they lose one hour. Any boogie, any boogeyman kills triples. Any boogeyman kill triples the time gained and loss. Yellow players are unable are uh, able to kill green players. No, it's the boogeyman one. It was only double, wasn't it? I think. Uh, what was the most common cause of death during this season? Um... Oh, it was player kills, hundred percent, because the TNT. Uh, which player had a surprise guest in this uh, this season? Which players? Oh, it was Lizzie and Jem. Uh, how many times did Scott voluntarily die? Re Jeez, really? It must have been three. It couldn't. He wouldn't have volunteered himself that meant much times. Surely. Three, three. How many deaths were due to a pufferfish? I died to a pufferfish. So I'm going to guess one. Uh, what was the se Let's not laugh about that. What was the second player to turn red? Uh, it was Scar, I think. It was Scar. Uh, during the Clockers family dinner, what fatherly activity does Etho propose to the boys in a last-ditch effort to break the awkward tension? Um, it was to play catch in the yard, I think. Which of these is not suggested a name from Martin for his uh, in Scots and Lions? I know these. LGBC. It was, that was. Puddle Pals was. Santa's Little Kelpers was. Sons of Beaches was. Beauty in the Beach wasn't? It's Beauty in the Beach. No, maybe it's not. The Naughty Boys? It's one of these two. It's either Beauty and the Beach or the Naughty Boys. I reckon it's, be uh, I reckon it's Beauty and the Beach. Uh, what was the first name given to the hill the Clocker's Clock Tower was on? The Rock, I think. <coughs> I think it was called The Rock. Uh, which two players had time? Their time is go beyond twenty four hours. I didn't even know this was a thing. It would have been Tango, and it would have been. I'm guessing Scott. Which player did Etho go in order to get an easy uh, boogie kill? Which player did Etho go to in order to get an easy boogie kill? B dubs or Scar? I reckon Scar. Uh, who was not present in uh, during the match between B dubs and Skiz in season two? I didn't know this. No, we were all there. We were all there. We were all there. Why did the bad boys extend their wheat farm towards the rock? To get a boogeyman kill. To purposely annoy B dubs. To make a bigger food source, to have a transportation system. We wanted a boogie kill. 
Uh, which of these players did not die to Dr uh, Grian's quad TNT kill during session seven? I know. Ooh. Was Skiz already out at that point? Oh, no. Scott didn't die, I don't think. No, Scott didn't die. What movie spoiler was put on M. Rye 5 by Joel? M. Rye 5. Hey, it's 100% Snape kills Dumbledore because he loves Harry Potter. 100%. Uh, which of these things did not happen to Grian while he AFK during session 3? Martin dangles him off. Scar kills him with a TNT minecart. Uh, Cleo and B-Dubs try to steal him. Martin puts Grian in a... It's the Scar kills Grian with a TNT cart. Um, during session 4... He didn't kill him, would he? No. <coughs> during session 4, Pearl and Big B started stealing from everyone on the server, including which item? Oh, I don't know this. The Mean Girls enchantment table, I'm guessing? Wait, did we have an enchantment table in Thingy? On it? Yeah, I reckon it's the, the enchantment table, I think. Um, what event do the Mean Girls host to call everyone over in the server? Martin's birthday party? Yep. What was Judge Judy in the Executioner's original name? Um, it was... Judge Judy and Executioner had an original name? It was Krusty Juggler, wasn't it? Yeah. By the way, that shouldn't say juggle. It should say juggler. All right. Um, in session eight, Scott allows Scar to kill him for in stage of what items? A Nautilus shell? Because he's... I'm guessing? Or a piece of, a piece of diamond armor, I'm going to say. Uh, why do the nosy neighbors glitch across the border? Um, they believe they would be safe from attacks. They wanted to sneak into the Ty's base. They were running away from Scar and Cleo. Cleo dropped her weapon and Pearl wanted to take it. I don't know this. They wanted... I'm going to put they wanted to sneak in. Which two players did not personally re receive a compliment from Skiz for their daily affirmations? I did. I know Impulse probably... Oh, wait. Was it Impulse and Tango? I reckon they probably didn't even get one, right? I reckon it's Impulse and Tango. Uh, how many deaths were due to full damage? Oh, wait. Maybe they did. I don't know. How many deaths were due, deaths were due to full damage? Well. I'm going to say... Th I'm going to say four. Dude, You uh, the amount of deaths which was in this server, it's got to be the max. It's got to be. Um... How much time did Martin have reminding? How much time did Martin have remaining when he made the final kill at the end of the series? Well, they all had one hour left, right? I think. No, Martin would have been low as well. Right, I'm going to say 30 minutes. Right, guys. Guys. As soon as I click next, we will see the results. I said, I predicted that I would have... 68 out of 100. <coughs> if it's below 50, I'm worried. But also, some of these questions are hard, man. They were tough. If I get lower than 50, I'm worried. Do not tell any of the Life Series people. That would be amazing. I'm really worried. Here we go. Oh, no. 42! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. That was big beat. Oh, my gosh. It was bad. I even got that one wrong? Nox, thanks for coming to 
Thanks for coming to Gamer and KFC. Thanks for gifting, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my... Oh, it was Cleo. I got a lot wrong on this one. Oh my gosh. What was it? What... Who had player had the least amount of kills? Oh, it was Tango. Oh my gosh. I'm a failure, everybody. I'm an absolute failure. Wow. Right. There I am. Ray, thank you so much for the gifted one. I appreciate that. It's getting a little silly now. <coughs> Holy moly. It looks like I'm out of the life series, everybody. Jim, your life SMP membership is about to get revoked. Hey, let's just pretend this didn't happen. Um... Said it didn't happen. That is amazing, by the way. Uh, I know that Chris, uh, I think it was Chris Rin made this, um, this uh, quiz, everybody.